Hello everyone and welcome to our next class on the heart of frog and the circulatory system in the frog. Now circulatory system in the frog consists of blood vascular system and the lymphatic system. The blood vascular system consists of heart, blood vessels and blood. So let us start with the heart. Heart is the central muscular pumping organ of circulatory system. It supplies or carries or circulates the blood through the closed circulatory system. So remember in frog the circulatory system is of closed type. Now let us firstly see the structure of heart. So firstly we will discuss about the external structure of the heart. So heart appears to be a conical muscular structure lying in the mid ventral line at the level of lower uh, forelimb. So it is present at the mid ventral line uh, at the level of forelimb. It is a reddish contractile structure enclosed in a double walled thin bag like structure known as pericardium. Now, pericardium consists of two layers. The outer layer is called parietal layer or parietal pericardium and the inner layer is called visceral layer or visceral pericardium. The space between these two layers that means parietal uh, pericardium and visceral pericardium there is a space that space is called as pericardial cavity and this pericardial cavity is filled with pericardial fluid. This pericardial fluid acts as a shock absorber and it protects the heart from external shocks. The heart has three chambers that means two auricles and one large ventricle. So you can say frog heart is three chambered, two auricles and one ventricle. The auricles are dark colored and uh, ventricle is uh, pink colored. So the two auricles are externally demarked by a faint longitudinal groove which is called interauricular groove. So here in this diagram you can see these two auricles they are separated or they externally appear separated from each other by this interauricular groove. So we can clearly demark these two auricles due to presence of interauricular groove. <clears throat> these two auricles are clearly marked off from the ventral view by a narrow transverse auriculoventricular groove or you can say <coughs> coronary sinus. So uh, sorry coronary sulcus. So here is a coronary sulcus look at this diagram uh, in this diagram here is a coronary sulcus which can demark auricle from ventricle. You can say auricle and ventricle they are separately uh, appeared due to presence of this coronary sulcus. The heart of frog has two additional chambers. So beside these auricles and ventricles externally we can see two additional chambers that is sinus venosus and truncus arteriosus. Now where these two uh, additional chambers are present? If we see the dorsal view of the heart that means if we see the heart from dorsal view you can see a large triangular uh, sac like structure which is attached on the dorsal side of the heart which is a uh, you can say sinus venosus, triangular sinus venosus. So sinus venosus it is a thin walled, it is thin walled triangular and dark colored chamber attached dorsally to the heart. This sinus venosus is formed by the fusion of two anterior precaval veins in the diagram you can see one right precaval vein and one left precaval this is uh, these are the two precaval vein and these two precaval vein along with this one post caval vein. 
So you can say sinus venosus has opening of three pre uh, three uh, large veins. That means two pre caval and one post caval vein. So it is formed by the fusion of two anterior pre caval and a posterior post caval vein. Likewise, truncus arteriosus. It is tube-like structure, uh, or you can say it is a tube-like chamber which arises from the anterior ventral side of the ventricle. So, in the second diagram here, in the diagram B, we can see this is the truncus arteriosus which is arising from the ventricle, and it is seen on the ventral view. So, B diagram B is a ventral view, and diagram A is a dorsal view. So, from ventral side, you can see there arises a truncus arteriosus. This truncus arteriosus, when run forward, it bifurcate into two branches, or you can say two trunks, which further divide into three uh, arches. Namely, one is carotid arch, second one is systemic arch. You can see in the diagram, this is carotid arch, then systemic arch, and third one that means pulmocutaneous arch. So each trunk or tic trunk then divide into three arches: carotid arch, systemic arch, and Pulmocutaneous arch. The details of supply of these arches that we will study in the arterial system of uh, frog. So here, this is regarding the external structure of heart. That means externally, when we see the heart, it appears conical, it appears reddish. Then uh, it has uh, uh, two auricles and one ventricle. Auricles are separated by interauricular groove. Ventricle, single ventricle is there. Uh, auricles and ventricles they are separated by coronary sulcus then from a uh, dorsal side there is conus arteriosus and from ventral side there is truncus arteriosus uh, sorry from dorsal side there is sinus venosus and from ventral side there is truncus arteriosus so this is the structure uh, of heart frog heart from external view now we can study the internal uh, side or internal uh, uh, of the heart of frog so this diagram on the right side this shows the internal structure of the heart so internal structure of the heart is seen in the sections here we are we have shown in the sections internally the heart is made up of three chambers that means as usually we can say two auricles and one uh, ventricle the blood flows from one direction only through this uh, chambers so that means blood circulation is unidirectional so it flows only through one direction and various openings inside the heart these are guarded by various valves now let us see what type of openings and what type of uh, valves are present in the uh, structure of internal structure of the heart so firstly we will uh, look at the auricles so two auricles that is right and left auricles these are thin walled chambers these are the two auricles right and left auricles and these are thin walled chambers they are completely separated from each other by a thin uh, interauricular septum the right auricle is larger than the left auricle because the interauricular septum is slightly uh, to the left side so hence right auricle is larger than the left the si uh, sinus venosus opens into the dorsal wall of right auricle through a large transverse aperture called sinoauricular aperture so sinus venosus which is present on dorsal side it opens into the right auricle through a large opening called sa aperture or you can say sino auricular aperture this opening of sinus venosus into the auricle it is guarded by a pair of flak like valves these valves allow the flow of blood from sinus venosus into auricle and they prevent the back flow the common pulmonary vein opens into left auricle left auricle has opening of common pulmonary vein here you can see it has opening of common pulmonary vein near the septum by <coughs> and this opening is guarded by uh, sorry this opening is not guarded by any valve so there uh, this opening is without the valve both the auricles they open into the ventricle through a single large auriculoventricular aperture so commonly both the auricles they open into ventricle by a common auriculoventricular aperture this is guarded by 
टू पेयर्स ऑफ एप लाइक ऑरिकुलर वेंट्रिकुलर वॉल्व ए बी वॉल्व तो कॉमन ओपनिंग ऑफ दिस टू ऑरिकल्स इन टू द वेंट्रिकल इट इज गार्डेड बाय दिस पेयर ऑफ ए बी वॉल्व देन लुक एट द वेंट्रिकल्स लोअर पार्ट थिक वॉल्ड सो वेंट्रिकल इज मोस्ट कॉन्स्पिक्यूस एंड ट्रैंगुलर एंड मस्क्यूलर चेंबर ऑफ द हार्ट द इनर सरफेस इज हैविंग irregular ridges which are called as columni carni and these ridges greatly reduce the cavity of ventricle so we can say the wall is thick and the cavity inside the ventricle is very uh, less the flaps of av when uh, av aperture as we have seen that there is a common av aperture so the uh, av valves uh, they are connected to these uh, columni carni on the ventricle through thread like cordi tendini so here suppose these are the columni carni and these columni carni are connected here with the flap of av aperture here by these thin thread like structures called as cordi tendini so these are cordi tendini which are shown here and these as these are shown broken but actually these are thread like structure which connect uh, the wall uh, these uh, which connect the ventricular wall with this the flaps of av aperture then looking forward to the truncus arteriosus now the truncus arteriosus which arises from the ventricle here this truncus arteriosus which ari which arises from the ventricle <coughs> its opening is guarded by three semilunar valves the opening of truncus arteriosus is guarded by three semilunar valves the expanded truncus arteriosus is shown in the uh, you can say left side here you can see the opening from the ventricle into truncus arteriosus is guarded by three semilunar uh, valves these valves allow the passage of blood from ventricle into the truncus but prevent the back flow of blood and this truncus arteriosus is formed by a basal thick walled chamber called conus arteriosus and a distal thin walled chamber called ventral aorta the conus arteriosus like this one is conus arteriosus then ventral aorta now conus arteriosus is known as palliageum and the distal ventral part as a synangium <coughs> the synangium is formed by union of basal part of the arteries so these arteries which arises from this conus arteriosus the basal part is formed by synangium so this one synangium this is palangium the distal end of palangium is provided with a row of semilunar valves here here are the rows of semilunar valves and the spirally twisted spiral valve divide the cavity of conus arteriosus into dorsal left cavum pul um, pulmocutanum and ventral and right cavum aorticum so here in this diagram also in the left diagram you can see this one is cavum pulmocutaneum this one and this one is cavum aorticum so the two part cavum pulmocutaneum and cavum aorticum these are present in this conus arteriosus due to the uh, spiral valve this uh, type of spiral valve the truncus arteriosus divide into two branches further which are called uh, uh, aortic trunks and these aortic trunks each further divides into three arteries or you can say arches one is carotid arch second one is systemic arch and third one is pulmocutaneous arch <clears throat> so this is all regarding the internal structure of the heart now let us see how the frog heart works working of heart now heart of the frog which is a muscular organ which constantly beats during the nervous control or you can say which constantly beat under the influence of nervous control and this pumping of the heart 
uh, supplies or circulates the blood through a closed circulatory system. The constriction of the heart is called systole, while the uh, you can say relaxation of the heart is called as diastole. Different chambers of the heart in a, in a regular uh, sequence and the walls present prevent the backflow of the blood. Chambers of the heart they contract in a regular sequence. So auricle firstly auricle will contract then ventricle contracts and the walls which are present inside the heart they prevent the backflow of the blood. Firstly the blood from body is collected into sinus venous through two large precaval vein and one post caval vein. So deoxygenated blood from the body is collected into sinus venous. The sinus venous <coughs> contracts and the deoxygenated blood from sinus venous or you can say venous blood from sinus venous is forced into right auricle through SA aperture. Meanwhile, the oxygenated blood from the lungs it is poured into the left auricle through pulmonary veins. That means when the right auricle is filling with deoxygenated blood at the same time left auricle is filling with the oxygenated blood coming from the uh, lungs. The two auricles which are now filled they then contracts and almost simultaneously they force the blood into the ventricle. Thus the ventricle has a mixture of both uh, you can say deoxygenated and oxygenated blood and this blood from both the ventricle it is poured into uh, this blood from both auricle it is poured into the ventricle through the common aperture that is uh, you can say AV aperture. So <coughs> the ventricle thus contain impure uh, you can say mixed type of blood. So, this is all regarding the structure and working of heart in case of frog.